Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. There's one app I've had installed on my iPhone from the very beginning that I hadn't bothered to use until tonight, and that's only because uh, our friend Andy, who you may have seen pop in and out, uh, who's been helping us with uh, certain server-side things with LockerGnome and Geeks.Perillo.com and other assorted goodies that we can't get into right now, he was kind of fawning over the remote app, and I said, well, I've got it installed, I just haven't used it. I don't use iTunes since I have a Rhapsody subscription, I use Pandora, Groove Shark. Sometimes I just you know listen to things as I want to as I stumble upon them on the web. Um, I don't really use iTunes for media consumption, at least for you know on demand. If I'm sitting at you know my computer, he says no, it's really cool. I said well I had you know how do you set it up? Is it really difficult? He says no, it's this simple, and this is what he shows me. He launches the app, and I've already had it installed. Just hadn't launched it myself for months. Just I, I should have done it. I don't know why I didn't. I've already got it paired with this particular device, this particular computer that's got iTunes, it's not on, so that option's grayed out. I'm going to say add library. It gives me a passcode. Now watch behind me. Did you see that? This iTunes that's been running on this particular Mac automatically picked up that Chris's iPhone wants to try to use or at least access your library on this particular computer. So I'm going to click Chris's iPhone, scroll over here in a whole bunch of whiteness, I can find the uh, look, look, a little too far there. Ah, oh, there we go. So it says, okay, so now I've got to type in the four digit code. It tells me 8254, 8254. And now I can access, I'm going to zoom out here. I can access uh, all the, the media that is available on this computer, the library on this computer, and I can browse it. So let's see, where do I have? Oh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Oh, that's nice. Oh, some Jude. Let's go with some Jude. I love Jude. And even it pulls in the cover art as well. Uh, let's see here. Everything's all right. And now I'm remote controlling with my iPhone. I can pause. Instantaneously pauses the music on that computer. Yeah. Is it really free? Oh, you bet it is. All right. So uh, you don't believe me. All right. Let me launch iTunes here on this computer. iTunes. We'll go back here, albums, artists, settings. So I've gone back to settings. And if I want to, I can choose to stay connected. I'm, I'm not gonna do that because it wastes battery. Uh, I'm gonna switch between this library to that library. And I don't have much media on the laptop. And I'm going to play some Tom Green. You might remember this classic. Maybe, I may have to turn up the volume. Cause see, I can control the volume. And I can see, I, I can fast forward, I can, I can pause, I can control the volume. I've got the playlists here. I can do anything pretty much other than for some reason they don't have the ability to stream in the radio here. All right, let me, uh, let me pause that. I'm tired of Tom Green at the moment. Uh, I can, of course, like the iTunes app on the iPhone, I can choose which options I want available in the bottom menu bar. Uh, listen to audiobooks, sort by composers, genres, movies, music videos, podcasts, songs, TV shows. You can basically remote control iTunes from your iPhone. Um, it's not exactly a universal remote control. Uh, but uh, it uh, it's certainly uh, pretty cool if you happen to use iTunes. And maybe this gives you one more reason to start using iTunes. Maybe I will. Maybe I should finally just bite the bullet and and, uh, and start using iTunes. I don't know. I just wish Apple had a subscription. Am I the only one who wants that? I know. That that was my that was exactly my word. Censored. It was, I was just that. I was like kind of blown away. I, I'm just... I, I, when Apple does the subscription thing... I'm in. Until then, meh, meh, meh. That's just me. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Maybe you know of another cool uh, app for the iPhone or iTunes or you know any other type of music related application. Uh, feel free to pass it along. Uh, <laughs> oh, see, this is why I love the chat room. It's always full of intelligent discourse. That was an example. He was saying G -A G F H. He was explaining how he's finally mastered the alphabet. And if you have too, at least as far as the English language is concerned, you're more than welcome to stop by the chat room or become a, a regular participant in our community of geeks at geeks.perillo.com. Uh, if, if you'd like to watch this live video feed, you're more than welcome to. We 
do all sorts of things uh, throughout the day. Sometimes I'm just sitting here you know, talking to myself. Sometimes I'm talking to the chat room. Sometimes I'm not even here. Um, sometimes I'm uh, um, elsewhere. But the chat room's always with the video. And like what we're going to do in a couple minutes, we're actually going to give away a webcam. Now, if you're not around, then you can't participate with that. Sorry. Maybe next time, though. Uh, but, you know, you're more than welcome to stop by the uh, chat room and uh, join this uh, gaggle of geeks 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.